Hello guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can use React Router in your React apps. So the first thing we need is to install that, so we can just search for React Router. Go to the first link and then we're going to install this. After that finishes installing, the line we're gonna need is this import right here. So let's start the app first. And before we import this, we're gonna make a few components. So let's let's make a component called Hero. And let's make a component called about. So we're only going to have section of here or nothing else. And I'm gonna copy paste this here and just switch hero to about. And then inside our app, let's import that. And I want to render both of those components, so we don't see them yet, but let's just remove the styles. And we're just going to add styles to the section. So now we have these two sections here and about. So if we go back to app, let's import this thing, this line they gave us. So we can remove the logo from here and import that. So the things we are gonna use is router and route. And I'll also show you how to use link or nav link a bit later in this tutorial. So we're gonna remove switch and link. So it's import browser router as router, so this is the name we can use it. We don't need to type browser router here, we can just type router and then we're gonna need a single route. So after that's done, give me a second. These ads on YouTube. Okay, let's go back to a project. So we're gonna have a route. First thing actually, a router needs to wrap everything where you wanna use it. In my case, I'm just gonna wrap the whole app. So before the app tag, we can paste the router. Like this. And then for the route, so we're gonna add a route here, then the route has path so this is where the route should go in our case we want slash here this is for home page or localhost 3000 and here we want to render a component that's that we made which is hero so we can do component equals and then instead of pasting it like this you just want to paste the name of the component without opening and closing tags so just hero and we can remove this. So now, this is gonna work every time we have a slash. So it's not only gonna be home page. If I did slash, I don't know, test. 
this is still gonna work because it gets this value here which is slash and this has slash before the test so it doesn't matter what we type in here slash is gonna work what we want to do is we want to have something called exact so what exact path does it only matches if this is slash so it doesn't care what whatever's after the slash so if we do localhost 3000 we see a hero here, but if we do local post 3000 slash test, we don't see anything. I mean, it's rendering the about page since we didn't add that out, but it's not gonna render the home page anymore. So it's only gonna render the home page when this is as like index HTML page or local post 3000. And for about page, we can do paths. And this is going to be slash about. And component is going to be about, and we can remove this line. So now, if we're on localhost 3000, we're displaying the hero component, but if we go to slash about, we're rendering the about component. There's also another way of doing this. This is probably the easiest way, but if you wanted to pass props, for example, to this about component, you're not going to be able to do it here. So, for example, if we had like text, which is just a prop we're going to make and paste it here inside the section. So we couldn't add text to this component, like we couldn't pass prop here, like... Like that. That's not gonna work. So what you can do, you would create a route. Sorry, it's route, not router. And you would have both opening and closing route. And inside of that, you would render your about component. And then to this route, we can just add path about, same as we have it here. And we're gonna remove this. Need a professional logo for your brand? I've used the new Wix logo. So this is gonna work the same way right now, if we're on about. The thing is, now we can send these props we made. So we made a prop called text. So if we add text here, and we we'll let's do hello. Now that text is gonna show. So use this way always if you don't need to pass props to components. Use this way if you do need to send props to the components. And then how we can link that. So we're gonna make a nav here. Let's make another component that's gonna be nav. And then we're just gonna copy this. And let's replace the. So I told you before that I wanted to show you how you can use link or nav link. They both work the same way, except nav link has active class name, I'm pretty sure. So we can import this here, but in our case, we only want to have link. Okay, I don't want to format this yet, so we're going to add link. Uh, let's go back, let's import our nav bar here on nav. Let's see, we're just going to render it here. And then let's just add some styles so we can actually see the map because I made sections uh, 100%. So we'll just add some styles here. So 
So this is our lab. Now we can see it here. So let's say we have home and about, since those are the two sections we need. Let's just go back here. So we're gonna add home and about. So this works similarly like route, except instead of path, we have something called two. So it's gonna be two equal and then the same path name you have in here. So if it's slash, we put slash and the, for, that, for the second one we have about. So this is gonna be two slash and this is gonna be two about. Need a professional logo for your brand? IV and you also want to make sure that you have exact paths for the first one. So exact two instead of exact path. So now if we click about, this is going to go to about page. If you click home, it's going to go back to our home page. And this also works with Navlink. So if we switch this link to Navlink, This is going to work the exact same way about home. And what we could do with Navlink, for example, let me just add some styling to these. So we can do, if you want to target the either Navlink or Link, it would be A. So it would be Nav A. Okay, well, let's just make it a different color so we can see it better. Okay, so we have home and about. So right now what we can do with Navlink, we can add a prop that Navlink has, which is active class name. So it's not a prop we're making, this actually exists in Navlink. It's called active class name and we can set that equal to anything, so we can make that's the class we're gonna make, so we can call it like active. And we wanna do the same thing for all of our links, in our case we only have two. So if we do that, we just need to make that active class here. So if we do nav active, and we do color red, this is already gonna work by default. Even if we added it to all the links, it's only gonna add active class to the link we're on. So if we're on homepage or localhost 3000, which is just slash here, that's gonna add active class of red to our home component. But if we switch to about, it's gonna change to about here. So I usually use nav links instead of links for my nav bar. And the reason is this mostly, because you can add a class names easily, or active class names rather. But yeah, this could be Navlink or Link. Instead, Navlink has the active class name prop, which you can use. So you would add it all the links, then you will target that class in CSS and change whichever properties you want. And then when that matches the path we have here, it's only going to add that, that active class to that link. So if we click about, if this is slash about, this links becomes red. If it's just slash or localhost 3000, this links becomes red. So that will be it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new and thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.